Good morning boss, here is new report on Miami Dolphins today. Xavier Howard make a difficult point in new contract. New report on Dolphins offensive coordinator. Miami Dolphins is upgrading offensive and defensive team. Devonta Smith, Najee becomes the main target. But Alabama Crimson Tide's names is not enough with Dolphins in 2021. Please subscribe and ring the bell for more reports. Here we go, Xavier Howard make a difficult point in his new contract. The Miami Dolphins could have some unexpected contract trouble with a report indicating that star cornerback Xavier Howard is expected to ask for his contract to be renegotiated. The increased salaries across the NFL have diminished Howard's status as the league's best-paid cornerback, with some rumors suggesting a possible trade. Xavier Howard has gone from the highest-paid cornerback in the league when he signed the five-year, $75 million extension in tw to the sixth-highest-paid. He will be 11th among cornerbacks in cash payments in 2021. As a result, Howard plans to ask the team to renegotiate his contract in the coming months. During the 2020 season, Howard was dominant at one corner for the Dolphins, leading the league in both interceptions with 10 and passes defended with 20. Compare that to his 2018 Pro Bowl season when he had seven interceptions and 12 passes defended. In 2019, Howard was limited to just five games because of injuries, while the start of his 2020 season was interrupted by his placement on the reserve COVID-19 list during training camp. The fact that Howard's fellow starting cornerback Byron Jones is making more money could be sparking the rumored request, though speculation has only been offered up to this point. Renegotiating Howard's contract would have an effect on the team's salary cap, while trading him away would deplete an improving defense. Trying to find a better solution is the challenge facing the Dolphins' front office in the weeks and months ahead. New report on Dolphins' offensive coordinator. About a week ago, the Dolphins' list of rumored candidates was reported. Included were, Dolphins RB coach Eric Studsville, Dolphins QB coach George Godsey, Clemson OC Tony Elliott, Chargers QB coach Pep Hamilton, 49ers run game coordinator Mike McDaniel, Steelers QB coach Matt Canada but as last weekend unfolded, it seemed as though Miami's shortlist of candidates was whittling away. First it was reported that Elliott desired to stay at Clemson. Then it was reported that Kyle Shanahan, amid departures from his staff in San Francisco, would promote McDaniel to serve as the 49ers' offensive coordinator and that Matt Canada was in line to be promoted from the Steelers' quarterback's coach role to take the offensive coordinator role in Pittsburgh. Presumably, there were three remaining candidates, Godsey and Studsville from within the Dolphins' building and Hamilton. And we haven't gotten any traction towards a resolution since. But the news from yesterday threw the whole situation for a loop. The Pittsburgh Steelers interviewed Hugh Jackson for the position Canada was rumored and penciled in to take as the team's offensive coordinator. So now Canada may be back on the table for the Dolphins after all. Also reported to be in the running for Pittsburgh's suddenly available vacancy? Pep Hamilton, who is reportedly interviewing in Pittsburgh today. If Pittsburgh settles on Hamilton, the Dolphins will have no one to blame but themselves, they've been the only team reported to show significant interest for over a week but never made the hire, so one would assume Miami's preference lies elsewhere, either with an internal candidate or perhaps with Canada after all. I'd say that this vacancy will come to a resolution soon, but I thought that last week as well with the 2021 Senior Bowl looming for this coaching staff, so who knows when the hire is made before next season would be a safe bet. Dolphins' immobilization is fueling rumors that with Alabama options is not enough. Miami Dolphins needs to upgrade the team in many positions to be comprehensive. The Miami Crimson Tide doesn't quite roll off the tongue as easily as the Miami Dolphins does, but it certainly feels as though this Dolphins franchise is destined to tie itself to the most successful of college programs this offseason in their bid to build a legitimate Super Bowl contender in the years to come. There are worse programs you could marry yourself to. A lot of them. And with Miami destined to attack their offensive depth chart and the aspirations to build around quarterback Tua Tungavailoa, tapping into the team and players who helped make him a record-setting passer at Alabama makes all the sense in the world. But just how deep could this investment run? How many prospects from one program is too many? If you're the Dolphins and looking to pull from the Alabama program, you may run out of options before you end up finding a bad fit for this team. 
Here's a run through the do here's a run through the Dolphins draft picks and which Crimson Tide players would be in consideration at that spot. Get comfortable, we're going to be here a while. Middle linebacker. The Dolphins could choose to fill the void by resigning a Landon Roberts, who stepped up his run defense admirably as the season progressed. But Roberts managed to play just 39% 402 of the Dolphins' snaps defensively in 2020 and in that limited role conceded a passer rating of 135.5 on 23 targets, 21 completions, 220 yards and 2 touchdowns. Furthermore, Roberts was credited with 11 missed tackles, his strengths as a player don't include playing in space. If they retain Roberts, Miami will need a coverage linebacker. Miami's defense thrives with matchups and the team did well to play around those matchups all season long, but a starring role at Mike linebacker would go a long way to allow the Dolphins' scheme and personnel to remain more flexible and account for the, and account for the middle of the field against both the run and the pass with the same player on the field. Wide receiver. The need of wide receiver isn't a question of which one to add but rather how many receivers the team will add. The good news for Miami is that this is a great offseason to need wide receivers from both a free agency and NFL draft perspective. The team may avoid to make the premier investments into position, although we still consider Devona Smith at number three overall to be the most likely outcome for April's draft, but the tier two wide receivers of both free agency and the draft would be upgrades over what Miami currently boasts on the roster. The following is the most viable scenario for Miami Dolphins at 2021 NFL Draft. Number 3 Overall. Candidate, W.R. Devona Smith. Smith is the only option who feels to be in demand this high in the draft order, and if the team is unable to trade back a few spots for extra picks this feels like the most likely outcome for Miami as things currently stand. The 2020 Heisman Trophy winner enjoyed a spectacular season and his existing chemistry with Tua Tungavailoa makes him an obvious candidate. Number 18 Overall. Candidate, R.B. Najee Harris, W.R. Jalen Waddell, O.L. Alex Leatherwood. Smith won't be an option this late, but plenty of other options off the tide's offense will be. First and foremost, running back Najee Harris, who will be partaking in next week's Senior Bowl event alongside Smith as members of the Dolphins' all-star roster. Speedy wide receiver Jalen Waddell is unlikely to be here, but he's a home-run fit if he is, he's the more explosive weapon and the Dolphins need desperately to find some chunk plays in the passing game. They'd get some with Waddell, who is a Tyreek Hill type of talent. Offensive lineman Alex Leatherwood offers the kind of versatility Miami covets up front. He's played right guard and left tackle, meaning he can play inside or out and on either side of the line. Number 36 overall. Candidates, R.B. Najee Harris, O.L. Alex Leatherwood, C. Landon Dickerson. Running backs are a rarity in the first round these days, so there's a chance Miami could stretch picking Harris until the early second round. If they don't wait, an offensive lineman would be on the board here at 36 worth considering in center Landon Dickerson. Dickerson enjoyed a booming season this year and will be in contention to be the number one center drafted in the 2021 NFL Draft. But if Miami wants him, they'd be wise to not wait to get him. Number 50 overall. Candidate, C. Landon Dickerson, Og Deontay Brown. The other, interior offensive lineman for the Tide, guard Deontay Brown, is yet another possible strong contender for a top 50 pick. He's about as big of a man as you'll find on the football field and pairing him with Solomon Kindley would give the Dolphins an absolute wall up front. Miami wouldn't have the most athletic offensive line in all of football, but they'd undoubtedly have the biggest and would potentially, with development, have the most physical. After 50. There's a pretty steep drop-off, mainly because the Tide's talent goes so early each year. So if Miami wants to lock in a run on Crimson Tide prospects to open their 2021 NFL draft, the first four picks would be the expectation, 